brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Rudolf Valentino, Rodolfo Alfonso Raffaello Pierre Philibert Guglielmi di Valentina d'Antonia, professionally known as Rudolf Valentino, was an Italian actor and naturalized American who starred in several well known silent films, including The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, The Shake, Blood and Sand, The Eagle, and The Son of the Shake. He was an early pop icon, a sex symbol of the 1920s, who was known as the Latin lover or simply as Valentino. He had applied for American citizenship shortly before his untimely death at age 31, which caused mass hysteria among his female fans and further propelled him to iconic status. Childhood Valentino was born Rodolfo Pietro Filiberto Raffaello Guglielmi in Casalinetta, Apulia, Kingdom of Italy. His mother, Marie Berta Gabrielle, was French born in Lure in Franche Comte. His father, Giovanni Antonio Giuseppe Fadela Guglielmi di Valentina d'Antonia, was Italian. He was a veterinarian who died of malaria when Rodolfo was 11 years of age. Valentino had an older brother, Alberto, a younger sister, Maria, and an older sister, Beatrice, who had died in infancy. As a child, Rodolfo was indulged because of his exceptional looks and his playful personality. His mother coddled him, while his father disapproved of him. He did poorly in school and was eventually enrolled in agricultural school at Genoa, where he earned a certificate. After living in Paris in 1912, he soon returned to Italy. Unable to secure employment, he departed for the United States in 1913. He was processed at Ellis Island at age 18 on December 23, 1913. New York Arriving in New York City, Valentino soon ran out of money and spent time on the streets. He supported himself with odd jobs such as bussing tables in restaurants and gardening. Eventually, he found work as a taxi dancer at Maxim's Restaurant Cabaret. Among the other dancers, at Maxim's were several displaced members of European nobility, for whom a premium demand existed. Valentino eventually befriended Chilean heiress Blanca de Sules, who was unhappily married to prominent businessman John de Sules, with whom she had a son. Whether Blanca and Valentino actually had a romantic relationship is unknown, but when the de Sules couple divorced, Valentino took the stand to support Blanca de Sules's claims of infidelity on her husband's part. Following the divorce, John de Sules reportedly used his political connections to have Valentino arrested, along with a Mrs. Time, a known madam, on some unspecified vice charges. The evidence was flimsy, at best, and after a few days in jail, Valentino's bail was lowered from $10,000 to $1,500. Following the well-publicized trial and subsequent scandal, Valentino could not find employment. Shortly after the trial, Blanca de Sules fatally shot her ex-husband during a custody dispute over their son. Fearful of being called in as a witness in another sensational trial, Valentino left town and joined a traveling musical that led him to the West Coast. Life before fame In 1917, Valentino joined an operetta company that traveled to Utah, where it disbanded. He then joined an Al Jolson production of Robinson Crusoe, Jr., which was traveling to Los Angeles. By fall, he was in San Francisco, with a bit part in a theatrical production of Nobody Home. While in town, Valentino met actor Norman Carey, who convinced him to try a career in cinema, which was still in the silent film era. 
Valentino and Kerry moved back to Los Angeles and became roommates at the Alexandria Hotel. He continued dancing, teaching dance, and building up a following that included a older female clientele who would let him borrow their luxury cars. At one point after the United States entered World War I, both Kerry and Valentino tried to get into the Canadian Air Force to fly and fight in France. With his dancing success, Valentino found a room of his own on Sunset Boulevard and began actively seeking screen roles. His first part was as an extra in the film Malamini, moving on to small parts in several films. Despite his best efforts, he was typically cast as a heavy or gangster. At the time, the archetypal major male star was Wallace Reed. With a fair complexion, light eyes, and an all-American look, with Valentino the opposite. Eventually supplanting Sesu Hayakawa as Hollywood's most popular, exotic, male lead. By 1919, he had carved out a career in bit parts. It was a bit part as a cabaret parasite. In the drama Eyes of Youth that caught the attention of screenwriter June Mathis who thought he would be perfect for her next movie. He also appeared as second lead in The Delicious Little Devil with star Mae Murray. Acting Displeased with playing heavies, Valentino briefly entertained the idea of returning to New York permanently. He returned for a visit in 1917, staying with friends in Greenwich Village, eventually settling in Bayside, Queens. There he met Paul Livano, who would greatly help his career. While traveling to Palm Springs, Florida, to film Stolen Moments, Valentino read the novel The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse by Vicente Blasco Ibanez, seeking out a trade paper. He discovered that Metro had bought the film rights to the story, in New York, he sought out Metro's office, only to find June Mathis had been trying to find him. She cast him in the role of Julio Desnoyers. For the director, Mathis had chosen Rex Ingram, with whom Valentino did not get along, leading Mathis to play the role of peacekeeper between the two. The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse was released in 1921 and became a commercial and critical success. It was one of the first films to make $1 million at the box office, and remains to this day the sixth highest grossing silent film ever. Metro Pictures seemed unwilling to acknowledge that it had made a star, most likely due to Rex Ingram's lack of faith in him. The studio refused to give him a raise beyond the $350 a week he had made for Four Horsemen. For his follow-up film, they forced him into a bit part in a B-film called Uncharted Seas. On this film, Valentino met his second wife, Natasha Rambova, Rambova, Mathis, Ivino, and Valentino began work on the Alan Mova film Camille. Valentino was cast in the role of Almond, Nazi Mova's love interest. The film, mostly under the control of Rambova and Nazi Mova, was considered too avant-garde by critics and the public. Valentino's final film for Metro was the Mathis pen The Conquering Power. The film received critical acclaim and did well at the box office. After the film's release, Valentino made a trip to New York, where he met with several French producers, yearning for Europe, better pay, and more respect, Valentino returned and promptly quit Metro. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.